Hey, how is going Adam here? Today we're gonna make a fluffy smart cloud lamp that you can control it through your phone or through Alexa or Google Home. Let's get into it. Before we start, make sure that you check out my first course in which I built 8 cool devices with Raspberry Pi. Link in the description. First, let's go through some of the parts we need in order to finish this project. And let's start with the LED strip. For our use, we will need a 5 meter long RGB one. The strip comes with a Wi-Fi controller that will give us the possibility to connect it through our phone or through Alexa. It also comes with two 4 pin connectors that connect the strip with the controller. To power the cloud, we will use a 12 volts power supply. Also, to be easier to mount and position, we will need a 3 meters extension cable for our supply. You can also control it through a remote, but we will focus just on connecting through the phone. For our base, we will use four different sizes Chinese lanterns. This will be light and rigid enough for our use. And to cover our lamp, we will use pillow stuffing. For our tools, all we need is a glue gun and loads of glue sticks. Let's start by taking three of the four lanterns. We will have the biggest one in the middle and the rest on the side. Cut the small one on one side really close to the center of it and keep the part that we just cut, we will gonna use it later. Do the same for our medium one and let's add the metal inserts in both of them. This will hold our cloud together. For our center one, we need to cut a medium hole on one side and a small one for the other one in order for us to pass through our LED strip. Add the metal inserts in this one as well and we can reinforce the sides. Glue the wire to our lantern and bring the other one. This will make it rigid enough for our use. Do the same with the other side. Now we can bring them together to make a rough idea on how it will look. Next step will be to insert the LEDs. To make it easier for us, let's cut the 5 meter strip into two equal halves and we will connect them back again later on. The LED strip has a sticky back to it, so start sticking it on the interior of our lantern. After you are done with the first part, route the other end of the LED strip through the hole we made earlier and bring the two together. With some hot glue, fix them together and leave it to dry up. After you have it dry up, route the rest in the middle part of the cloud. Now bring the other half of our LED strip and place three quarters of it in the remained lantern. With it done, all we got to do now is to connect the two pieces of LED strip. Cut the connector and strip all four ends of the cable. Make sure you have them in the right order and solder them together. Take the 4 pin connector and insert it in our LED one so we can connect the controller later on. Now route the remaining LED strip inside the middle lantern and let's glue it all together. And that was pretty much it. Let's insert the controller and make a test to see if it all works well. Looks promising, but it needs something more. And that is the remain halves of the lanterns. Glue them as well on the surface of the cloud to give it a more random shape.
And now we are done and ready for our stuffing. Speaking of which, you can find it on Amazon or simply rip an old pillow apart and it should do the trick. Try to spread it almost like a blanket and cover the lantern in glue. Now simply attach the pieces of it and glue the sides down. Just repeat the process until you cover the whole surface with a thin layer. With that done, hang it so we can make the last touches. We will use some spray adhesive to do this. Just spray in the place you will like more fluff and just press it over. Do this until you cover all the bald spots and as long you are happy with the look. And we are done. Now our cloud is finally finished. The app allows you to sync the LEDs with the music through your microphone or playing music straight from your phone's memory. But the nicest feature of them all is color matching. Just point the camera at the object you would like to match the color of and watch your cloud copying it. If you are not happy with the look, you can always choose your own color. And that was it, our smart RGB cloud is done.